Professor Andy Coronius, thank you so much once again. I think you're our most uh, uh, often guest uh, on Australia in Space TV and welcome to Sydney for IAC 2025. Thank you very much, Chris, and thanks for the great work that you do for the industry. Uh, look, congratulations. The launch this morning of the Australasian Space Innovation Institute, uh, an iteration of SmartSat CRC, uh, does set it up for the future, uh, and it's a big story and really a, a powerful uh, sort of opening address this morning and really setting the scene with uh, Minister Ayres also, and we just interviewed uh, Mr Collins from New Zealand. Yep. Uh, maybe talk us to the background of uh, Aussie in terms of the uh, the acronym and uh, yeah, maybe your, your sort of dream and hopes of, of where it, what you want to take it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, the CRC has contributed for the last uh, six and a half years. It has brought together the whole ecosystem. Uh, more than 150 partners has produced a lot of technologies, but a lot of those technologies are individual technologies that our great universities and, and government labs have produced. What we want to do now is we want to take it to the next level, to actually stitch together a lot of those technologies to create systems, to create applications that are very much aimed at improving our lives on Earth, in, in lifting our productivity, not only the Australian productivity, but also the region, because all those kinds of ac activities can actually lift the prosperity of the region and, and our, our nation. So, yeah. Well, I was going to say, uh, sort of what's new? Is it just a continuation of the research that you're doing? Um, we have covered, you know, the number of PhD students that you've got, and you've got assets in space as well, uh, yes. also, as well as some live uh, sort of operations and missions with New Zealand Space Agency. Yes. Um, yeah, are you, how are you looking to expand it? Because I, I, I suppose the key word here is the Australasian aspect. It's not just Australia and yes. New Zealand, but there, we had you know, sort of international partners in the room as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. It is actually similar. But different. Okay. And it's different in three ways. First of all, the mission. The mission of the SmartSat CSC was to deliver to government the milestones that we promised back in 2017, because that's when the application was. And those were technologies, individual technologies that were basically crafted there. The mission now is not so much about delivering individual technologies, but delivering systems and applications. Got it. So that's one of the areas. The other thing is, as you know, uh, CRCs are time limited. They all have a life, maximum of 10 years. We went for seven. Uh, that means the CRC will end in the middle of next year. It doesn't matter what we want to do, it will end. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, what we wanted to do now is to build a new organization that wasn't time bound, that was enduring. So, and the other, um, the other kind of difference as you correctly said, is that we're going to broaden the area because we feel that there's a huge opportunity for Australia to contribute and to win from within the, the region to play uh, and, and craft partnerships that are win-win with New Zealand and other countries. Uh, furthermore, of course, the SmartSat CRC was a membership organisation, which means that in many ways you actually picked favourites instead of winners. What we want to do now is to open this to everyone. Everyone can participate and we will then get the best capability available to solve the problem that we need to solve. So you are staying a not-for-profit uh, and there was some funding there because uh, New Zealand's uh, mentioned about $5 million. Um, and how is the how is it going to work in terms of membership? It, it's a it will not be a based? membership. It will be a mixture of uh, a, a blend of funding. We will, of course, be looking for support from government and government departments, relevant government departments in terms of the applications we will be building. Uh, we'll be we are hoping to be working with defence. Yep. Continue to work with defence, uh, but also what we will be doing is actually bring, as a not-for-profit, we don't need a lot of money, uh, but we will be bringing the ecosystem together to go for large projects like the, the Australian Agricultural Digital Twin, the maritime monitoring that you've mentioned, bringing them all together. All of those projects will be funded by the end users. We'll bring the end users to the table up front instead of saying, okay, let's build something now, Who's going to, who wants to yep. buy it? Nice. We want to do it the other way. Of course, for us to keep the lights on, we will need a management fee, a small management fee. Yep. But as I said, we'll be agile, we'll be lean, and we are not for profit, so we don't have to give 
uh, deliver any dividends to anyone. Well, I think the main thing is finding the customers, uh, and, yeah. and that's the new new that's aspect what, of civil space, right? And that's where we'll be bringing the opportunity. We'll be bringing the opportunity for large projects. We're not going to compete with anyone. We're not going to compete with companies that may have a unilateral, bilateral kind of project uh, with a university or, or industry, but we will actually be looking for more the bigger projects, major projects, big challenges like environment, agriculture, emergency management. Well, and we'll stitch capability together. Well, it's wonderful to see uh, SmartSat CRC not closing down and more even just expanding. Uh, yes. But Andy, uh, as I mentioned and sort of opened uh, this session with, is uh, very inspiring this morning. We hope to continue to work with you. It's definitely one to watch now, the yes. Australasian Space Innovation Institute. And what a time to launch it here at IAC in Sydney as Absolutely. well, uh, in front of uh, an international audience and yes. an international community. So Absolutely. well done. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity. And thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV once again. Thank you.